Robots help automate tasks and make our lives easier, but a robot that gets stuck or lost navigating its surroundings isn't very useful. The problem is that the sensors used on consumer robots are highly impacted by the environment. Temperature changes, lighting changes, different obstacles and surfaces can all negatively impact performance. At SIVA, we know that accounting for and correcting these types of errors are critical to the accuracy of the robot's position and orientation so that robots can truly work autonomously. We've been analyzing sensors for over 15 years now in our sensor qualification lab. The gimbals, temperature chambers, and electronics equipment that you see in this lab allow us to analyze the effects of temperature, voltage, and aging on sensors of interest. And beyond this lab analysis, we've also spent considerable time understanding how these sensors perform in real-world applications. This has required us to build and test our own robot platform. It's the combination of our sensor expertise, our in-depth understanding of the use case, and the sophistication of our algorithms that have enabled us to ship our technology into 150 million consumer devices, including leading robot vacuums. Today, we're excited to share some information on our new Dead Reckoning product. And for that, I will turn it over to our lead engineer, Doug Carlson. Thanks, Steve. Our research into robotic Dead Reckoning is based on the fusion of three distinct sensors, the IMU, inertial measurement unit, wheel encoders, and optical flow sensor, like the one in your computer mouse. Each sensor supplies different information to the sensor fusion process. The IMU tracks heading and linear acceleration, and its data is impervious to surface changes. The wheel encoders and optical flow sensors give us two independent measurements of the robot's velocity. Fusing these sensors gives us a complete picture of where the robot is and how well it's working. The problem is that none of these sensors work perfectly all the time. Consumer-grade IMUs have noisy accelerometers and temperature-dependent drift effects, which hurt heading estimates and limit the cases where the IMU can provide linear motion measurements. Optical flow sensors behave differently on different surfaces. Their calibration may change, their signal may become noisy, or they can lose tracking entirely. Wheel encoders slip and skid, giving a poor view of the robot motion. Like the optical flow sensor, wheel characteristics change on different surfaces. We've expanded our test analysis capabilities to go beyond the IMU and to understand how to get the best performance out of these sensors in the real world. Our automated test system allows us to accurately characterize optical flow sensors across flooring surfaces, mounting conditions, and light sources. This testing shows us the most important factors in optical flow sensor performance. We know where they succeed, where they fail, and how to get the most from them. We've used this research to create calibration and sensor fusion algorithms that exceed the performance of wheels-only or optical flow-only approaches. We're putting these algorithms to the test in our robotics lab. Our lab is built to international guidelines for size, surface material, and furniture. Our array of motion capture cameras gives us the high-precision ground truth measurements of robots in action that we need to test and refine our solutions. To ensure that our algorithms can handle anything, we use a variety of motions and environments in our testing. These range from simple cleaning cases to intentionally difficult situations that stress the weak points of each sensor. We've extended our industry-leading IMU sensor fusion to use the IMU, optical flow sensor, and wheel data together. This yields high accuracy linear position and orientation estimates that are robust to wheel slips and optical flow tracking faults. Under typical conditions, we have observed a three to 10x improvement over wheels or optical flow alone. Our thorough understanding of sensors is the foundation that makes accuracy improvements like this possible. As robots save time for us, see if it can save time for you in building a robust, high-accuracy robotic product.